Hi everyone, in this video I am going to introduce radar displays. So what are the different display units we have in the radar systems? Uh, everything we are going to discuss in this video. So radar displays. Display is nothing but it is a unit. Display is nothing but a device used to represent the waveform used to represent the waveform or we can call the radar terminology as a blip related to related to the target related to the related to the target okay so display is nothing but it is a device used to represent the waveform or a blip that blip or a waveform related to the target on the screen on the screen okay so you might have seen different types of uh, display units in your laboratory like CRO Okay, CRO is the most commonly used display unit in the laboratories. So you might have seen either analog CRO or digital CRO, whatever it may be, it is used to ultimately use it to display the signal. That CRO works x-axis, it shows the time period and on y-axis it shows the amplitude. So any type of random signal or any type of waveform that can be displayed on the signal simply by using the parameters like time pair division and voltage pair division you are going to calculate the amplitude and time period of the signal. That CRO just works with the principle of CRT the heart of the CRO is nothing but CRT any display any displays any display unit is having a CRT. So what do you mean by CRT cathode ray tube cathode ray tube it is the heart of a CRO it is the heart of a CRO so any deflex any type of display unit is having this CRT okay so totally if for your displays there are two types of CRTs available there are two types of CRT is available first one is deflection modulated CRT deflection modulated CRT and second one intensity modulation CRT intensity modulated CRT okay so this cathode ray tube is having a deflection voltage that's why it is a deflection modulated CRT and in the intensity modulated CRT we are just intensifying the electron beam just and presenting a luminous spot on the face of the CRT okay in deflection modulated CRT in deflection modulated CRT a voltage is applied voltage is applied on deflection plates deflection plates like your CRO in intensity modulated CRT the electron beam is generated by intensifying by intensifying and presenting a luminous spot presenting a luminous spot on the screen okay so in deflection modulated CRT just we are applying deflecting voltages say the DC voltages or AC voltage just to apply uh, by applying the deflection voltages the electron beam is going to be fluctuated 
but whereas with the help of uh, intensity modulated CRT the electron beam is going to be intensified and a spot is going to be displayed on the CRT screen okay now let us see there are uh, several types of uh, display units available let us see one by one individually okay so display types display types so till now we have seen what is a display display is nothing but a device and what are the different uh, display types available in our radar systems and what are the most commonly used display units we are using in the radar systems there are actually several types of display units used several types of displays available in radar systems okay that means in radar communication we can use a lot of uh, different types of display units so those are those are what are they a scope display b scope display c scope display and so on a scope b scope c d e f g h i j k l m n o r scope and p scope a b c i will write everything a scope b scope d e f g h i j k l m n o r scope display okay these are the different types of displays along with this p scope display is also available that p scope display is also known as ppi display ppi display what do you mean by ppi ppi is nothing but plan position indicator plan position indicator so here the a scope b scope c scope are working with the help of uh, deflection modulated crt and some of the above uh, deflection crts and uh, this ppa display works with the help of uh, what is that intensity modulated crt okay so now let us see what is what individually i am not going to discuss all the display units i will give um, the detailed description of very few display units so that you can imagine what could be the other uh, uh, explanations see here a scope display suppose if you take an a scope display whatever the cro does the same thing a scope will also do it displays a scope display is nothing but it is a what is a, what type of uh, crt it is it is having a deflection it is a deflection modulated crt it has deflection modulated crt so the crt section used in this uh, design of in the design of this scope display is nothing but a deflection modulated crt display that displays vertical reflection is proportional to target echo strength and horizontal reflection system is proportional to the time period or range okay what are the vertical deflection is proportional to vertical reflection is proportional to what strength of the echo signal strength of echo signal and horizontal reflection horizontal reflection system consists of horizontal coordinates consists of time or it is nothing but range because the range and time both are proportional to each other r is uh, c uh, r is equal to ct by 2 we know this relation r is equal to ct by 2 that means range and time both are in proportional to each other so we can display on x axis so what could be the 
axis see on x axis we are having a range and on y axis we are having amplitude or strength of the echo signal so if any echo signal is coming like this this is the way how the a scope is going to be displayed next one is b scope display in b scope display it is a not, it is generally an intensified in intensity modulated intensity modulated CRT is B scope display is nothing but it is an intensity modulated CRT. Now what is what intensity modulated CRT means azimuthal angle indicated by the horizontal coordinate and range is indicated by the vertical coordinate. So vertical coordinate system vertical coordinate system what it shows vertical coordinate system angle indicated azimuthal angle which angle it is azimuthal angle azimuth angle that is taken care by the vertical coordinate system and horizontal coordinate system horizontal coordinate system works with the range the parameter range okay so b scope display is nothing but an intensity modulated c b scope display has a crt that is intensity modulated crt to display the signal and where the vertical reflection vertical coordinate system is uh, azimuthal angle and is having azimuthal angle and horizontal coordinate system holding the range range or time period both we can see so another one is c scope display like this we have up to p scope displays c scope display is also an intensity modulated intensity modulated rectangular display intensity modulated rectangular display intensity modulated rectangular display with azimuth angle indicated by the horizontal coordinate and elevation angle by the vertical coordinate system so horizontal coordinate system as it is angle related terms intensity modulated P, uh, intensity modulated gives angle related terms also because it is uh, intensifying the electron beam it's not like a deflection voltage so horizontal deflection system or horizontal coordinates we can call it as horizontal coordinates represent what is that horizontal coordinates are representing the azimuthal angle horizontal coordinate is representing the azimuthal angle and vertical coordinate system it represents elevation angle okay so elevation angle represented by one parameter on the same CRT screen and the horizontal deflection system carries the azimuthal angle information. That means it gives the relation between the angles, azimuthal angle, how much the target is located and elevation angle target is located. That is going to be displayed by C scope display. And similarly, D scope display. D scope display is nothing but it is also a C scope display in which the blip section vertically to give the rough estimation of distance as well. Here vertical deflections are going to be extended or extended to give a rough estimation of to give a rough estimation of distance to give a rough estimation of the distance this is the d scope display like that we have different types of display units like a e and so on up to r scope display along with that we also have ppa display ppa display we have we have to discuss about this ppa display ppa display is nothing but it is an intensity modulated display like your normal uh, previous scopes intensity modulated circular display intensity modulated circular display so another type of crt difference is shape that means some like some shapes of the crvos crts are rectangular and some are circular okay so an intensity modulated CRT display on which eco signals are produced from the reflecting objects are shown on the 
shown in the plan position which with range and azimuth angle displayed in polar coordinates okay what it will do it displays ppi display displays range and azimuth angle range and azimuth angle okay that is nothing but r comma theta it represents the coordinates like r comma theta so in the entire circle at the center the target uh, your radar system is located and suppose the blip is here this is the blip okay blip is nothing but it indicates the position of the target now when you are taking a normal like this and it is the position of the tar uh, target then what is the angle made by the uh, radar system with respect to the normal and at what distance the target is located so these two parameters are going to be displayed by this ppi display also known as plan position indicator plan position indicator so in data systems most commonly used displays are among all these among all these radar uses a scope display and ppi display most frequently okay so radar uses a scope display and ppi display more frequently compared to all the remaining displays so this is what the displays concept and types of displays thank you